In this video, we're going through the current progress of the Alta facility. We're going to take a look at the areas that I made and how they all come together. And most of all, the next steps, which is going to be featured in next videos. So let's see, as we pull up here, you could right away tell that there's been a lot of work on the actual um, textures and details. So that's right away. Hopefully you could see that based on the last time we did the video. And all of it was mostly just um, aesthetics. So I'm not making a video for the aesthetic side of things. You can see that we have the paths here. Now first, let's just hop into our control room and turn on the compound lights. So these are just the exterior lights. And then when you walk around here, there's, little, there's lights on the back, so even at nighttime, it looks good. And we have spotlights on the top that can be turned on at night, and it makes the whole place shine like it's daytime. So we start here, where we usually come up the stairs, and let's walk around the outside. So this station has been added, but not programmed, and that's going to be in one of the next videos. So there's a couple things I'll point out that are not complete. And that's what we'll cover uh, in the next uh, work through video. But this is just kind of a walkthrough. So to call the next tutorial or work, working steps. But this clamp will serve if uh, one of your rods has fallen or if you bring some on another truck. This, this uh, clamp will lift it onto the rod wall system where you could then pick it up with this uh, pivot. So that's what this is for. I will have buttons down here that you enable it and work it. So we have our battery room and um, microcontrollers are here. This will be cleaned up a little bit. And then we have our medical bay. So there's two beds, a workstation and some health things. So we got to put it here because like, um, unfortunately, job site accidents sometimes happen. So this is the quickest route to get that done and because I've been on many job sites and many types of areas including the coal mines and um, in northern British Columbia and the oil sands in Canada I've kind of based it on that but what I like to do is I always like to take an element of call it it's not fantasy but it's just like uh, I like to add a touch of luxury or touch of like modern almost like futuristic elements because I prefer it to, because in real life, your control station, this thing, would be a trailer that, or like a sea can container that just has a computer in it, and it probably wouldn't even have windows. It would have one small window and a bunch of cameras that all this does. Now I don't want it to look like that. I want it to be impressive and cool. So next, every job site I've been on has a machinist shop. So we got a clamp there and a drill press and some tools as well as a welder with uh, a generator with a welder so every job site has machine shops and machinists that are willing to uh, fix anything that may go wrong on the machine so that's right here it's kind of like a garage bay i mean there's not a garage door type thing opening but that's what this would be we painted our stairs a nice uh, safety yellow and then here you have these orange things and like I talked about in other videos, you could climb all the way to the top. At the very top, we have a little platform with another workbench, some welders, radio, binocular, and health. So that's up here if you make it all the way to the top. But the nice thing is you can get access to your pump from this staircase. And that was kind of the intention. You could see if it's pumping properly, fix it if you have to. We'll have to fix that paint job. So this is a preliminary walkthrough. This is not the final product, guys. Okay, and then another project we have to do is add the uh, pumping out feature. So right now we just have this, the water dump and the slurry dump, but these tanks, and I have four of them currently, or rather five of them, because the one we have here consists of the main chamber where the crude is heated. I did add the two heaters that people were suggesting, so thank you for that. 
to warm up as it goes into the reservoir. And then here it has the distillation process down up there in here for the jet fuel, which is on the top chamber and the diesel fuel. So that, that tower has the main crude chamber and then a jet and diesel fuel. And then on this chamber here, it's really just two big containers or two big uh, storage vessels that will have pump systems that you can use um, so like whether you want to fill all of it with diesel or fill all of it with jet or fill it with crude you'll be able to do that so that was one of the things that um, that is one of the things that I have to add so it's really so this clamp that I talked about and that system now that system is operated from this control room here so we have our original control room which has been cleaned up and i've put the panel kind of on this type of uh tilted thing and the chair can move so you could either use the chair if you want or you could you just stand and do it by hand which uh, whatever you want but you have that ability to decide and then another nice thing is we actually have this button here that dictates which position it, it this uh, grab grabber is everything else is more or less the same and I will update these buttons to clean it up because I don't want these to look like that I want it to be a little more technologically advanced I want the well depth to be on a display and then these uh these ones and these big buttons are all going to be on instrument panels so they won't be as big and this room we're going to add some type of other um, maybe a desk or something now see the spotlights if we make it nighttime with the spotlights it shines the whole facility up and they're on the tower so everything beneath the tower is very very bright if we go back to daytime, we can turn off the spotlights. But anyways, this facility, this room is here. We'll see what else we could add for um, detail, but this is the general shape and general feel. Now this chair is also on a swivel, and this is where the operator that controls which uh, vessel to pump the crude oil, diesel, or jet from these, this will all be here. So it's kind of like a control station and a monitoring station for the actual process of um, the distillation. Currently we have these here, but in the future I'm not going to have them here. They'll be up on that desk and maybe somewhere else. Like, I mean, you for sure won't see the diesel and jet here. It may just be that it has the pump out for the main crude. And then we'll have to have a system that we put for the actual uh, pumping out process. If you park a truck here, maybe on this side will be the uh, hose anchor point or whatever so I have to figure that out but that's upcoming this is like just a visual thing I put in all my vessels because th some things I don't model like I don't model washrooms so let's just say that's the washroom there anyway now if you walk up you see that there's a bit of a conference table here and now we have like a nice carpet and um, more of a like a wooden wall finish so it's more luxurious have our TV here for conferences and a big table that seats six. I had um, envisioned that a crew of six will operate this facility or five plus the uh, CEO or oil baron. So that's what this is. There's a little kitchenette over there, but it's closed for now. Maybe there's a chef that comes in. I'm not wanting to model it. There's not enough space, but let's just pretend that we got a kitchen back there. And you have a pool table, so you can play pool to pass the time, and a nice uh, seating area with TV, you could watch movies. So it's pretty luxurious in here. And that was the intention, so that's what I'm saying. Like I like to always make my creations with a little bit of fantasy or science fiction or just really modern. In real life, this would not look like this. You'd have a bunch of containers sitting over there where the truck is, and it wouldn't be on the actual platform itself. But the way I'm looking at this, is I'm making like the how they have like the oil rigs on the, on the water this is a land-based oil rig so everything is just on the one platform on the one rig and you it's all in one spot rather than being a camp with garages and trucks and spanning here which 
I, I mean, first of all, you can't do with the work bench. You could do it as a spawnable, um, like a mod or a creation or whatever, a mission, I think. But I don't really want to do that. I just want it to all be here. So that is the second floor. If we go to the third floor, we've got a little dresser here and this beautiful mountain picture, a seating area. And if we go to this room, this is our crew bunk area. There's four bunks with windows. Over here is our manager's room. So he's higher up. We've got a TV, a nice little picture and a nightstand. It's a private room. And then for the actual oil baron or the owner or whatever, this is their suite. So we got a king size bed, fireplace, TV, and a private washroom back there. So it's a nice uh, spacious room, has a view of the rig as well as a view out. And it's kind of like my captain's quarters in my ships that I build, so it's a similar type of style. And then if we go to the top level here, through this door, there's a little pergola with a hot tub, a barbecue, and um, kind of just a little deck area where you could sit when you're not working. Again, not really realistic in a way, but I just like to have my creations a little special with something. So that's here. And then over this way, we have our helipad for a small helicopter, the RX-14. And it's kind of on elevated, it's on an elevated system. So it's easier to land. And it um, will also add most likely a fueling station here where you're gonna pull your fuel from your diesel and be able to fill this uh, little chopper. So now that we've looked at all the facility and discussed um, the different things that are gonna come soon, I was trying to put an elevator. I couldn't, so that was one of the things that I wish I could have done. Uh, an, a more automated system and pick up clamps would have been nice, but because of the shape of the building, it wouldn't work. Like I was thinking to have a system that's automated, you just put a clamp in and it goes up and goes into this grabber arm. Instead, it's gonna have to go onto the wall. So just one of the things that I tried doing, but really it doesn't matter. I think that this thing looks amazing. I'm so happy with how it turned out and I can't wait for you guys to have it in your workshop and to enjoy it because uh, I'm quite proud of it and I hope that you guys like it. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content and uh, happy Stormworksing.